variable um, and we also saw that one x one other way of looking at the binomial r random binomial random variable or, or for that matter even the Bernoulli random variable is a tree view so the tree view for example can be used in describing describing these events as so we have n experiments that we are performing so I'm gonna uh, let's see I'm gonna clear some of these things um, so let's clear this area here so here is my binomial random variable experiment so we're saying I perform the experiment the first so the uh, first experiment can either result in a success or a failure so that's a success that's my failure and the second experiment then can result in a success or failure now the the important thing to remember is that since these are independent events these are independent events there is no con the conditional probability is so remember that the conditional probability of the second event being a success let's call that second event being a success given that the first event was a success is simply the same as the probability of the second event being a success so there is no condition on these these are simply the probability of success the probability of success and so on so we no longer have to worry about conditional probability because these events are independent so essentially then what what we are looking at is is the the question that the binomial random variable is asking is in how many ways can I get k successes so let's just take the simple example here of three trials and I ask how many ways can I get two successes out of these three trials or three experiments I perform well the three the two successes can be here's one path one success failure and a success so that's let's say that's p of s so this this path is one that takes me to exactly two successes the second one is two successes in a row followed by a failure that's the second one and then i have a failure followed by a success followed by a success that's another one a failure followed by a so we need two successes so once I have a one failure and second failure I cannot have so there's not so there's three ways to get it so it's either this path this path or this path which is really three choose two which is equal to three now what we also saw then was geometric the geometric random variable is asking what is the probability that or the event that there are k attempts before I may get my first success so there was a failure there's another failure there's a third failure and so on and and then I have a success so the probability of k attempts before my first success is given by the k minus 1 have to be failures followed by the one success so that's my there's only one way to have k attempts before your first success which is all k should be fail k minus 1 should be failure followed by a success and the, the expected value of the geometric random variable is 1 over p and the variance is 1 minus p by p square we derive these in class and so you should know how to do this the last random variable is a poison random variable which is which as as uh, complicated as the PMF looks like it is one of the simpler ones because um, 
it essentially says that the the mean of a poisson random variable and its variance are both lambda and lambda is a single parameter by which we describe the random variable so we say poisson with a single parameter lambda lambda being the average occurrence rate of of uh, so uh, average occurrence rate so the random variable itself is saying if the average occurrence rate of an event is uh, is lambda then what is the probability that there will be k occurrences of the event so uh, clearly the the most likely occurrence is going to be the likely number of occurrences has to be lambda so what we saw um, in class then is that um, this distribution has a shape that looks something like this so if I have lambda let's say somewhere here then this will look something like that and it's not going to be a symmetric curve and we saw that this is in in fact um, it peaks at at lambda because when uh, when k equals lambda this this one this function in fact has its max value and so we we saw that to be the behavior of the Poisson distribution um, and I want you to uh, review what happens as k ch as lambda changes as lambda changes what happens to the shape of this shape of this plot so for example for very small values of lambda this is going to look something like this so it will it does something like that and as lambda increases we have a value look like that and eventually it's going to look more like that so this is these are higher values of lambda small values of lambda this is lambda 1 let's say lambda 2 this is lambda 3 and so on so this is the three topics random variables common random variables their expectations